In terms of what we are looking for in an economic student, it's things. It's basically being engaged with the world. It's being interested in why things happen, because economics is everywhere. If you make the decision to buy orange juice instead of Coca-Cola, some of that is an economic decision. Your decision to how you want to travel somewhere, your decision on what you buy, your decision on what you want to do with your life, they're all economic decisions. Where do our students end up? Well, they go into all sorts of careers, I mean accounting, consultancy, government economic service, banking, school teaching, university lecturing, any careers, literally. I mean, there's lots and lots of careers where being an economist is actually a benefit. How do we teach? Well, uh, we teach in lots of different ways. Most of our classes will be formal lectures, but by a formal lecture we don't mean we talk to you for three quarters of an hour, we mean, okay, we talk for 10-15 minutes, then we'll ask you some questions or get you to do group activities, so you reinforce what you've actually just learnt. So it's constantly reinforcing material. Then in seminars we'll expect students to engage in much smaller groups, 15-20 students, discussing topics, working maybe through mathematical examples, because economics is a numerate subject, but it's not mathematics, it's applied numeracy. If you want to, if you're interested in our various programs, which include mainstream economics, economics with finance, very useful if you want to go into financial services, business economics, apply, so that's economics more applied for business, business economics with accountancy studies, that's sort of of interest if you want to go down the accounting route, but you don't want to do accounting, you want to do something that's applied to accounting so you can make sure you really want to be an accountant, or business economics and marketing, 